Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Dean Ambrose from the WWE. Let's get started just above the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. So let's start on the left. We're going to curve up and then in. From the inside, I just want to curl up the frown line. So we're just going to curve this up and in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to leave a small gap in the center, line up the inside of the eyelid, curve out, and then down. On the inside, I'm just going to curl up the frown line, going up. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So on the left side, we're going to draw a half circle. We're going to step in to create an overlap, curve down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that up towards the base of the frown line. We're going to do the same thing on the right. On the left side, I'm going to draw a half circle tucked in underneath the eyelid for the highlight. So we step in, draw in that half circle, and then just pull that up. Now I'm going to line this over on the right side. Now we're going to line this up on the right side, but you can see a little bit more of the highlight underneath. In the center of the eye, I'm going to draw a small circle for the pupil. So this is going to get tucked in underneath the highlight. So we'll start at the bottom here, curve around, and then in towards the side of the highlight. We're going to line this up on the right side. Now let's color the pupils in black. Let's move up and draw in some eyebrows. So from the left corner of the eye, we're going to step up, we're going to curve across, and then in towards the base of the frown line. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then down. Now I'm going to take this side and it's thicken up along the center. So on the left side, we're going to go up and then just pull that down and in. We're going to do the same thing on the right. I'm just going to lengthen this out just a little bit more. Starting from the inside, we're going to curve up and then just pull that down towards the side. Now let's move to the center and step down and draw on the tip of the nose. So we're going to draw a U shape. Start from the left, we'll curve down, and then pull that up. On the left side, we're going to step down and just curl around the end of the nose, almost like a C shape. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to step up again and just draw the bridge of the nose. A little curve going up and then down. Just below the nose, we're going to draw the mouth. So another curve from left to right going up in the middle and then down on the right. Now let's go to the side and draw on the bottom of the head. So just to the left of the eye, we're going to start out here, curve down and in, and round out the bottom of the chin. Now I'm going to make my way back up towards the right side. Now we're going to add in the edge of the beard. So on the left side of the nose, we're going to curve around the mouth and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve up in the opposite direction towards the side of the head. Now from here, we're going to draw in the hair bangs. Let's start on the left side. I'm going to curve up and then in over the eyebrow. Now I'm going to pull this up in the opposite direction, going up. Now let's draw one hairband coming down towards the left eyebrow. I'm going to taper down, over towards the left. Then I'm going to taper this back up. From here, we're going to go in the opposite direction towards the frown line. Coming down and in. Now we're going to taper that back up. Now from here, we're going to go down in between the eyes. From here, we're going to come down, over towards the left. Then I'm going to taper that back up, right about there. We're going to do one more coming down towards the left, just above the nose. Now we're going to taper this all the way back up towards the top. Now let's go in the opposite direction towards the right eye. Come down towards the right eyebrow. Taper that back up. We'll do another one. Coming down over towards the right. And then again, we're going to pull that all the way to the top. Now from here, I just want to mirror what I have on the left side. So we're going to curve out over the eyebrow. Now I just want to round this out on the side of the head blending into a curve. Let's go back to the left side, just beside the eye. I'm going to draw on the side of the hair. Curve out, and we're going to pull that up. We'll do the same thing on the right, going the opposite direction. Now we're going to tuck the ears in behind the hair and the head. So in line with the eyebrow, we're going to step out, curve out, round out the ear, and then just pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. 
I'm gonna add a curve on the inside of the ear. So from the top, we're gonna step down, curve down, and then in. Now back on the left side, I just wanna curl out the end of the hair. So on the outside of the left ear, we're gonna curve out and then down. Now from here, we're gonna curve it in and up towards the side of the head. Up and then in. From here, I'm gonna round out the side of the head coming up, just pulling it up towards the top of the head. Now I just wanna draw another hair strand coming down. I'm taper this out and down. Let's work this way back up towards the top of the head, so tapering it up and over. Now I'm gonna do an overlap here. We're gonna step back towards the left, curve over, and then back down on the right side. We're gonna add one point going in the opposite direction. Curving out, I'm gonna taper that back in. I'm gonna make my way down towards the right side. So from here, I'm gonna curve out, and then pull that down, sort of aiming towards this point. From here, I'm just gonna draw a hair curl, going out. We're gonna pull that back in with another curve. Now I'm gonna tuck this in behind the top of the ear. Coming around and then in. All right, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start on either side of the chin, curve out the side of the body down towards the hip. So let's start on the left side, curve out and then down. Go to the right side and curve out in the opposite direction and then down towards the same height. Let's connect these two points with a curve coming down in the middle and then back up. We're gonna take that curve and duplicate that right up above. So we're gonna step up this is for the top edge of the belt. Now in the center here, we're gonna add the buckle. So we leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we'll draw one straight line and then on the right, draw another line. Now I'm just gonna frame this out on the inside. So just tracing out the inside of the buckle. Let's add a couple belt loops on the side. So on the left side here, we're gonna draw two straight lines side by side. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the ends, I'm gonna connect those with a half circle going out towards the right and then back in. Now let's go back to the top and just draw on the collar. From the edge of the body, we're gonna step in and draw a half circle coming down in the middle and then back up on the right side. We're gonna step down and just draw a curve for the edge of the chest. From the left, we're gonna go up and then down on the right. Let's continue working down with the legs. So in the center, we're gonna step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up in the middle. Now on the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out and then down towards the left heel. Go over on the right side and do the same thing, going out and then down. From here, we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, curve down and up towards the left toe. And do the same thing on the right. On the left side, I'm gonna curve the top of the foot. So we start out here, we're gonna curve up. Now I'm gonna aim towards the heel, but we're gonna pull it down to right about here. From here, I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction towards the inside of the leg. So we're blending into a curve going up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Start at the toe, going up, aiming towards the heel, coming down to about there. Now we're gonna change direction and curve in towards the inside of the leg. Now let's add a thick sole along the bottom. So we take this curve, step up, and then draw that same curve going across on both sides. Now we're gonna go back up to the hips, draw on the side of the leg coming down towards the foot. On the left side, we'll go out, and then pull that straight down. Let's add some pockets along the top. So underneath this belt loop, I'm gonna come down and then curve it out towards the left. Same thing on the right. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. So I'm gonna start about halfway down the body. Right here, we're gonna curve out and then down towards the wrist. We're gonna line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now back on the left side, we're gonna round out the thumb with a small half circle. At the end of the thumb, I'm gonna draw a small bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve around the bracket and then go up for the first finger. Now we're gonna step down, curve down, and then up the second finger. Now the third finger is gonna go all the way around the side of the arm in behind the head. So go around and then pull that in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side, starting with the thumb, with a small half circle. At the end, we're gonna draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll go around the bracket and go up. 
We step back down, curve down, and then up. And then again, the third finger is gonna go all the way around, the side of the arm, and then pull that in underneath the head. Now we're gonna finish this off with the hand wraps. We're gonna start on the left wrist. We're gonna curve up and then out towards the left. I'm gonna take that same curve and duplicate it right up above. So we step up, curve across, and then out. From the wrist, I'm gonna curve out and down towards this bracket. Going down, and then from that bracket, I'm gonna curve up above the knuckles and out towards the side of the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the wrist, curving up, and then out. We're gonna step up and duplicate that same curve. Now from the wrist, I'm gonna curve down into the bracket. And then from the bracket, I'm gonna curve over the knuckles towards the side of the hand. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Dean Ambrose from the WWE. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.